subscribe canadian logger 63 and don't forget to press this bell icon to get all information about international students visa updates and much more which you need do you know any best acrobat alternative pdf editor pdf element is a powerful yet easy to use pdf editing system where you can create organize and secure your files as well with its flexible pricing fully featured modules and impeccable performance i'm using this software and i felt and this one is best user friendly and easy to handle my documents and i can approach my tools which i want to perform pdf element was designed with usability in mind it gives you full control over your pdf content and a suite for almost ultimate transformation possibilities it comes to with an intelligent technology as it allows you to perform all desired modifications without affecting the formatting or style of your documents the interface is literally a direct route and navigation relies on simple with the pdf tool your converting possibilities are simply ultimated all of your files can easily become html images microsoft docs and so on if you wish so the tool solved a huge problem in the document and management industry in making it possible to convert file format into professional look. If you want to buy this software guys, I have given links below in description, I just go and click those links. By using those links you will get 70% off guys. If you buy this software through the given links below and get 70% off PDF element 2020. And this software is for all operating systems as well. Hi welcome viewers, ki hal chal ji? I hope everything is hunky dory. An awkward question, how to study in Canada for free? Sounds like impossible for 80% students. They think it's completely ridiculous. Many students ask me that, Sir, I can't study in Canada for free. Sir, I'm very poor and I can't afford a huge tuition fees. Please tell me how can I study in Canada for free? Many students are on tight budgets and cannot afford huge tuition fees and living expenses as well. Although studying in Canada is affordable than many other countries like UK, USA and Australia including New Zealand, but it can still quite expensive for international students with tuition fees often costing tens of thousands of dollars per year. Many students are on tight budgets guys, but the good news is there are many scholarships for international students studying in Canada that helps the student to study in Canada for free. Scholarships are a great way to bring your education free or half cost down. There are different types of scholarships available to international students in Canada and I'll tell you all these possibilities to study in Canada for free. In this video, I will tell you that how can you avail the scholarships, types of scholarships, how to apply eligibility and requirements and how much scholarships amount you can get as well. In this video, I have added a Q&A part as well to answer some questions. If you don't want to see this Q&A part, you can skip this Q&A part and see the scholarship video. So before I start this video further, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon as well. And never miss any of the discount kind of information in the future. So let's get started. Here we go. First question that I got from Faiz, how good is LaSalle College? It is good college, it has two campus, first one in Montreal and second one in Vancouver. Both are good college for arts courses especially. This college offers PGWB as well so it is considered a good college. Second question is from Hargan Singh. What is the minimum cut off for computer science program in BCIT? Arganji, uh, students they depend on how much cut off kar sakde But in my perspective, just one semester, if you cut off the post work permit, it bad effect. If you want to cut off, you have to solid reason to do it in the university. No. So make sure to see kam to kam apna cut off. Karo. And you got to provide a solid reason that why you want to cut off your semester. Third question is from JK. I'm going to marry soon. My fiance has just completed B Tech in electrical and waiting for the results. I have completed my BCA in 2016 and has been working into USA stuffing recruitment. 
she wants to go for further studies in Canada and I want to accompany her. So it is possible we both can go together because couple of consultants said that one have to go first and the second one will have to go after a few months. But we want to go together. Is it possible? My answer is yes, it is possible. You both can apply for Canada and you both can come in Canada together. Agents and people think it is not possible but Canadian government said yes it is possible. Let me show you the proof. So this is the official side of CIC and read this query. Can my spouse or common law partner and dependent children come with me to Canada? Your spouse or common law partner and dependent children can come with you to Canada or visit you in Canada if they meet all the requirements for temporary resident to Canada. Satisfy an immigration officer, they will only stay in Canada temporarily. Can provide they have no criminal record if necessary and meet all the conditions of getting a temporary resident visa. So it's all about how you satisfy your immigration officer. Provide strong reason. I know that people want to get PR in Canada but at the time of interview you have to tell that you will live in Canada temporarily and write a good relationship statement as well. That's it. Next question is from Shiva. Applying for non STS for January intake. I know it's already late. Profile blah blah blah. Can you tell me chances for visa success please? CDI College Montreal College two year course supply chain management. Well Shiva your marks and IELTS score is fine for CDI or Montreal College. CDI is better college and you can apply from now but can attend your classes in spring because it takes one to two months for admission and visa approval. So you can apply for offer letter also make sure and try to contact to the university or colleges for admission deadlines. Fifth and last question is from Remy. If a person has done his bachelor's in CS and he wants to do master's in project management from Canada then will embassy make an issue like not continuing your IT studies etc and what are visa rejection chances in this case. Look dear, changing course can create many issues for you and might cause you to face visa rejection as well. But if you are willing to study in project management project management you have to satisfy your of visa officer that why you want to study in that specific subject you have to write a strong sop statement of purpose it could be difficult but not impossible to study in project management but i would suggest you to go for masters or pg diploma in your related subject that's all now let's talk about our main topic which types of scholarships are available to international students in canada there are many types of scholarships like merit scholarships or entrance scholarships, financial scholarships, private funded scholarships, Ontario graduate scholarship, graduate scholarships and Vanier Canada graduate scholarships. Mostly scholarships are for masters and, and PhD level students but I will try to add scholarships for undergraduate students as well. Bachelors ke liye sabse kam scholarships hoti hain because ye scholarships mostly research program ke liye hoti hain jo uh, technical, IT, medical or engineering se jitni bhi fields related hain unke liye hoti hain. So first scholarship is entrance or merit scholarship. Most universities and colleges offer their own scholarships to students. Many of these are entrance scholarships. Many students don't need to apply in order to be considered for the award. You will be given by your university and colleges automatically. But if you want to avail this scholarship, you need to visit your university or college websites and you'll see the scholarships amount, eligibility and criteria and how you can contact the university to avail this scholarship. And this is for undergraduate level students. Next one is financial scholarships. Financial scholarships are given to the students who demonstrate financial needs. Almost many of these awards are only available to Canadian residents but there are some for international students as well. Again, check your university or college to see if you are eligible for this. Third one is private scholarships. There are many business and private donors who set up scholarships for students. Often these awards are targeted towards particular areas of studies. So check with your faculty organization to see if there are any available at your school. Organization or jo private donors hote hain, ye university se contacted hote hain. Aur bahut si universities ko ye donate karte hain. 
ताकि वो स्टूडेंट्स के लिए रिसर्च अपॉर्चुनिटीज पैदा करें सो यू हैव टू विजिट योर यूनिवर्सिटी और कॉलेज वेबसाइट एंड चेक दैट वेदर दे प्रोवाइडिंग और नॉट फोर्स वन इज ऑनटेरियो ग्रेजुएट स्कॉलरशिप The Ontario Graduate Scholarship is funded by provincial government and is a merit-based scholarship available to all students including international students in all disciplines of academic study. Students in graduate studies at the master's and doctoral levels can apply for a merit-based scholarship through the Ontario Graduate Scholarship OGS program. Awards are available to graduate students for all disciplines of academic study at participating schools in Ontario. So basically this scholarship only available for Ontario provinces. Okay, next one is graduate scholarships. There are many financial awards available to students studying at the graduate level. A few popular ones in Canada like Vanier Canada Graduate Scholarships. This is a great scholarship in Canada. One of Canada's most fruitful scholarship, guys. This award is for doctoral students especially. The Canadian government introduced a Vanier scholarships to help attract and reach and retain the world class PhD students and establish Canada as a global leader in research and higher education. Only 167 of these scholarships are awarded each year and students must demonstrate academic excellence, research potential and leadership qualities in order to be eligible. Okay, now let's talk about how you can apply for these scholarships. Well for the scholarships uh, you have to contact the graduation officer at your university because all these scholarships whether it is uh, private or government these organizations are connected with the universities so you have to visit your faculty department for the scholarships guys okay now we deeply discuss about ontario graduate scholarship who is eligible Masters and PhD students can avail this scholarship as i told before that the scholarships are for research based students so if you are going to study in masters and PhD you can get this scholarship to be considered you must also meet the following criteria you'll be in graduate studies in masters or doctoral levels you'll be enrolled in full time program for two or more term for the academic years you are submitting your application Now how to apply for the OGS scholarships use your school's OGS application ye application aapko aapki university se milegi aapne jis university ko kehna hai apne admission ke time ye mujhe OGS application chahiye wo aapko application provide kar denge then aapne uske baad wo application fill karke aapne apne admission form ke sath submit kar deni hai and they are normally available in october if you are applying to more than one graduate program at different schools submit an ogs application for each school or ye form aapko university se hi milenge guys next one is vanier canada graduate scholarship actually main in dono pe deeply baat kar raha hu kyunki ye dono kafi hi popular scholarships hain jo canada mein easily aapko mil sakti hain isliye main aapko ye dono scholarships kafi deeply main bata raha hu main available for all universities and colleges You should be enrolled in graduate studies in master's or doctoral level have good CGPA in first two semester guys now i will tell you that what are the eligibility requirements and amount of scholarships you can earn now let's check out the requirements for these scholarships first you have to prepare a canadian style cv guys you have to prepare your cv according to the canadian format I have uploaded a video on rural and northern immigration pilot program and I have told in details that how you can make a CV in Canadian format and I have mentioned many Canadian CV formats as well so please check out that video second one is you should have good CGPA at least 3.0 CGPA or more in first two semester jab aap enroll honge masters ya phd mein to aapke first two semester mein 3 se zyada CGPA hona bahut zaruri hai and third at last one is a uh, experience requirement and you should have experience in your related field jis bhi field mein aap ja rahe hain ya further admission liya hai aapki us field mein experience lazmi ho yani ki agar aapne btech kiya hai to aapki btech mein usi field se related experience hona zaruri hai taki aapki chances zyada se zyada increase ho sake how to apply mostly scholarships are given to the students automatically but you can also approach for all you need to do just visit your admission department graduation department or your faculty they'll provide you application as well as all the details okay now how much scholarship you can get merit or entrance scholarship depend depends on university to university but average price of this scholarship is 5000 to 12000 dollar next one is financial scholarship 
This also depends on university to university. Average price of financial scholarship is $3,000 to $6,000. Third one is private funded scholarship. Average price of this scholarship is $5,000 to $12,000. Fourth one is Ontario graduate scholarship. Depends on university to university. Average price is $10,000 to $15,000. Next one and bigger one is Vanier Canada and price of this scholarship is $50,000 to $60,000. Huge one. So guys this was the complete scholarship video if you didn't understand something agar aapko isme kuch samajh nahi aayi to kindly aap is video ko bar bar dekhiyega is video mein maine sab cheeze detail mein batayi hui hai lekin aapko sirf concentrate karna hai is video mein agar aapko ye video abhi tak samajh nahi aayi to please isko start se dekhiye aur aap ek ek topic par gaur kijiyega maine complete information provide kar di hai मोर ओवर आई हैव गिवन द वेबसाइट लिंक्स एज वेल बिलो इन डिस्क्रिप्शन आप उन वेबसाइट्स को काइंडली विजिट कीजिए और उनमें ऑल डिटेल्स आपको मिल जाएंगी स्कॉलरशिप्स के बारे में और स्कॉलरशिप्स के अमाउंट और किस तरह आपने अप्लाई करना है जैसे मैंने आपको सारा कुछ ऑलरेडी बता दिया है सेम वैसा ही आपको वहाँ पर मिल जाएगा फिर भी समझ नहीं आती तो आप मुझे कॉमेंट कीजिए और इंस्टाग्राम पर स्पेशली फॉलो कीजिए मैं वहाँ पर आपको फास्ट रिप्लाई करूँगा फ्रिक्वेंटली रिप्लाई मैं इंस्टाग्राम में ही करता हूँ और कुछ कुछ लोग मुझे शिकायत भी करते हैं ये यार आप दो दिन हो गए हैं हम आपने अभी तक कोई रिप्लाई तक नहीं दिया तो मैं उनसे ये कहना चाहता हूँ कि यार एक्चुअली मुझे अपनी स्टडीज़ और जॉब को मैनेज करना पड़ता है एज़ वेल एज़ मुझे वीडियोस क्रिएट करनी पड़ती हैं यूट्यूब के लिए और मुझे कमेंट्स कमेंट सेक्शन के भी रिप्लाई करने होते हैं ई के भी रिप्लाई करने होते हैं और मुझे इंस्टाग्राम पर ऑलरेडी बहुत सी बहुत सी डी आई होती हैं जिनका मुझे रिप्लाई करना होता है सो मैं सबको बारी बारी रिप्लाई करता हूँ अब देखो मैंने आपको एक बार रिप्लाई कर दिया अब दोबारा मैं आपको रिप्लाई तभी करूंगा जब मैं आपको उससे पहले जितने भी स्टूडेंट्स होंगे जिनकी क्यूर होगी उनकी उनको क्लियर करके तभी आपकी बारी आएगी तभी मैं आपको रिप्लाई करूंगा ये मेरा सिस्टम है इंस्टाग्राम पे मैं जो रिप्लाई करता हूँ सबको सो प्लीज़ अपनी बारी का इंतजार कीजिए लेकिन मैं सबको रिप्लाई करता हूँ वहाँ पर सो फास्ट रिप्लाई का मतलब यही है कि मैं आपको ई और कमेंट से ज़्यादा फास्ट मैं आपको इंस्टाग्राम पे ही रिप्लाई कर सकता हूँ सो काइंडली मुझे वहाँ पे फॉलो कीजिए और वहाँ पे अपनी क्यूरीज डिटेल में मुझसे पूछिए कमेंट में आप डिटेल में कभी पूछ नहीं सकते और ईमेल मैं हमेशा वीक बाद चेक करता हूँ एक वीक बाद मैं ई चेक करता हूँ तो एक वीक बाद आपको आंसर उसमें मिलेगा ई मेल और इंस्टाग्राम पर आपको राउंड अबाउट टू टू थ्री डेज में आपको रिप्लाई मिल जाएगा अगर मैं बहुत ज़्यादा फ्री हुआ तो मैं आपको उससे भी जल्दी रिप्लाई कर सकता हूँ सो बी पेशेंट गाइज So this was a video and all links are given below in description guys. So that's all I think I've covered everything. If you want to get some information or any query just comment down send me mail and must follow me on Instagram for fast reply follow me on Instagram and guys don't forget to subscribe my channel and must share every information with others.